From 2006 to 2011, the Aptera was a common sight on the minds of automotive enthusiasts and sustainable transport advocates alike. Designed to revolutionize the way humans thought about energy-efficient travel, it achieved the remarkable milestone of creating a car that could, in theory, drive without ever needing to plug in. Yet behind the futuristic promise lay hidden problems. Critics questioned its practicality, calling it too unconventional or impossible to mass produce. Users were fascinated, entranced by its promise of independence from charging stations. These are the shocking secrets of the Aptera. Aptera Motors was founded in 2006 in Carlsbad, California, by Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony. Their goal was ambitious, to design the most energy-efficient road vehicle in the world. In an era when hybrid and electric cars were just starting to make headlines, Aptera set out to redefine efficiency. The original 2E prototype, revealed in 2008, was a three-wheeled ultralight vehicle with a drag coefficient of just 0.15. It promised up to 230 miles per charge using lithium-ion batteries. Its lightweight design, solar panel integration, and aerodynamic body made it unlike anything else on the road. In reality, the 2E was as much a statement of vision as a practical car. It challenged assumptions about vehicle design, forcing the public to reconsider what a car could be. By 2011, however, Aptera Motors had to file for bankruptcy. The company had demonstrated innovation, but it lacked the capital to scale production. Investors were cautious. The market for solar electric vehicles was untested, and global infrastructure for charging EVs was in its infancy. Fast forward to 2019. Aptera Motors was reborn. With lessons learned from the first attempt, the new company focused on a solar electric vehicle capable of charging itself. This new Aptera, revealed at CES 2025, claimed up to 40 miles of daily solar-powered driving and a maximum range of 1,000 miles on a full battery. Its drag coefficient dropped even further to 0.13, making it arguably the most aerodynamic car ever produced. The promise, a vehicle that could make the daily trip to work without ever plugging in, powered entirely by the sun. The Aptera's three-wheel design was its signature feature. What it lacked in conventional stability, it made up for in efficiency. Lightweight construction reduced energy consumption and aerodynamics cut drag to near record levels. In reality, three wheels meant skepticism among traditional drivers. The most obvious example was cornering stability. While engineers claimed it was safe, the public remained cautious. Ask almost any user what frustrated them most, and they would mention the unusual driving dynamics and the learning curve of a vehicle that felt unlike any other. It was a bold design decision, one that divided opinion and limited mass market appeal. Aptera's solar panels were a marvel of energy engineering. Integrated across the hood and roof, they could generate up to 1,000 watts in ideal sunlight. The promise was simple. Charge your car while parked or driving slowly under the sun. Yet in practice, sunlight is inconsistent. Cloudy days, winter months, or shaded parking could drastically reduce energy input. Engineers accepted this limitation to maintain a sleek, lightweight design, knowing that it would impact range reliability. The unexpected consequence Users who relied solely on solar for daily driving sometimes found themselves short on range, requiring conventional charging anyway. While Aptera's technical vision was impressive, funding remained a constant struggle. Between 2019 and 2025, the company raised roughly $140 million through private investors and pre-orders. Yet large-scale production demands billions. Cost-cutting 
was inevitable. In 2024, the CEO hinted at modifications to reduce manufacturing costs, which meant compromises on some luxury features. The most obvious consequence, some early supporters were frustrated by delays and scaled back features, challenging the company's credibility. The journey from prototype to production was tortuous. Initially planned for 2021, deliveries were pushed repeatedly. Regulatory approvals, supply chain challenges, and the pursuit of perfection slowed progress. In April 2025, Aptera announced the first deliveries would begin in 2026, with full production expected only by 2028. The public began to question whether a fully solar-powered three-wheeled car would ever reach the masses. Every delay reinforced doubts, but also built anticipation, a double-edged sword for the brand. Skepticism was not only about engineering, it was about psychology. The Aptera challenged conventions. Drivers were accustomed to four wheels, familiar interior layouts, and the reassurance of established brands. A vehicle with a teardrop shape, three wheels, and solar reliance felt alien. Even enthusiasts who admired the tech questioned the car's practicality for long road trips or harsh climates. The unexpected consequence, some early orders were canceled, despite excitement and media attention. Safety remained a central question. While Aptera's design passed federal crash tests in simulations, three-wheel stability inherently carries risks in high-speed maneuvers. The company mitigated this with electronic stability control and advanced suspension engineering. Yet, ask any user, and concerns lingered. Public perception is often more powerful than reality, and in the automotive world, doubt can be fatal. Despite its challenges, the Aptera left a lasting mark. It reignited conversation about energy independence in transportation, inspiring enthusiasts and engineers alike. It forced the automotive industry to take solar integration seriously, influencing design thinking in EVS today. Even as it awaits large-scale production, Aptera represents the audacity of innovation. It's a reminder that pushing the boundaries of possibility often comes with resistance, skepticism, and setbacks, but also with vision that shapes the future. What if the Aptera had succeeded fully in 2011? The roads today might be filled with solar-powered vehicles, quietly absorbing the sun, never needing to plug in. Instead, the Aptera remains a symbol of ambition, a futuristic dream waiting to become reality. Its story reminds us, innovation is rarely smooth, but it is always unforgettable.